Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you how you can create your own NFC business card. And essentially what that's going to allow you to do is, rather than a kind of paper business card where you hand them out to people, uh, this will allow you to kind of tap it onto somebody's phone and it will give you the option to do different things like you could link to your website or if you're a, a photographer, videographer, maybe you could link straight to a showreel or portfolio or you can just have it so that it brings up your number on their phone and they can just save it into the contact book. So it's just a quick actionable way of sort of handing over your details. And, you know, I'm sure if you've ever been to like conferencing or networking events, you know, you've likely handed out a ton of business cards and received a ton of business cards. And uh, I mean, from my point of view, the trouble you kind of find is you come back with loads and then you find it quite hard to piece back which cards were linked to which people and conversations without having to do a lot of digging. So, you know, it, it's just quite a, a smart way of doing things. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll just run through how you can quickly set it up. It doesn't take very long. So in front of me, I've got a few kind of blank cards that I personally use and I'll link to um, cards and things, but you know, it's all down to preference. They come in loads of different styles. You can buy different quantities of packs. You can have them personalized with your own details. Personally, I've just got plain ones because you're not giving these out to people. You're really just tapping it on their phone and you retain the card. So from my point of view, you know, I didn't get them personalized, but you can have them, um, you know, for all kinds of different purposes. Some people have them in shop windows for reviews or they might have them on a counter um, for reviews and things like that. So it's um, it's completely down to your preference. I've got um, NFC stickers here as well that, you know, we'll, we'll quickly run through that at the end. It, it works in a very similar way. So, yeah, essentially what we'll do is so when when we've got this we um if i scan that now you'll hear that it just scanned and the way it comes uh sorry i don't know if that's actually in focus just a second yeah so the way it comes um it will just come up and it will say new tag collected empty tag so that just means that the card basically hasn't been hasn't been set up with any data yet. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run through and we're going to kind of set that up. And the app that I'm using here is called NFC Tools. There are loads of other apps around. This is just the one I've used. It's free. You can get it for Android or iOS. Um, there is a premium version of it, but I'm actually just using the free version to do this in this video. So like I say, by all means, have a look around and look at other apps. But um, in this video, that's the one I'll be using. So just as a really quick run through, obviously, to make this work, we're going to need to have NFC switched on. Um, on Android, it's this one up here for me because NFC generally on a phone is mostly related to uh, payment. So, you know, Apple Pay, G Pay or Google Pay, whatever you want to call it, um, they all use NFC. So generally, by default, NFC will be enabled, especially if you're using those because, you know, it, it has to be enabled for that. So it's just a case of making sure that's on because otherwise you'll just hold the tag to your phone and nothing's going to happen because it hasn't got the um, the NFC is basically near field communication. So it, it hasn't got the ability to read the card. So what we're going to do is just quickly with this open the NFC tools. We've done nothing to the app is just literally installed it. We can hold this to the back of the card. Uh, to the back of the phone sorry and you can see we've got all the data from it we don't need to worry too much about any of that you know that's just what it is the tag is empty so we need to write a tag to it basically to make it do something so that tag like i said it could be a url it could be a phone number anything like that so what we're going to do is um i'll leave a link as well obviously to uh to this app uh in the description but you know if you just type in nfc you'll get a ton of these apps up um, so what we're going to do is hit right up at the top and then you can see here we've got add record so you can see all the different things we can do here we've got um, you could do an email address add a contact phone number sms location there's loads of useful ones in there video as i said mentioned before um oh, sorry take that out um you can have uh urls i mean that's probably the most popular one so you know if we put in url Oh, sorry, I'm holding my phone at the bottom and it keeps doing different things. Um, so if we go to URL and then 
I'll just type this in so it's uh, just goes to my website as if I was going to actually make it into a card. Um, and then I hit OK, sort of fill it in, just make sure the URL obviously is correct. And then that's not actually done anything yet, but it's written the URL into there. And then all we need to do is press right. It will tell you to hold the card up again and then just hold it. You can hold it to the front or the back and then it will say right complete. And then what we'll do is I'll shut the app. Um, actually, no, you don't need to shut the app. But basically, if I now hold it up to it, you can see what happens is it goes to my website. So we can close that down again. And then we can essentially, once that's written on, that's fine. We, we can actually, um, we can do other things like um, you can erase the tag from there as well now. So um, you've got that on there. Uh, there's only one main function that it will do. So we can now just erase that from there. And then when we try to do it again, we've just got unknown tag type. So basically it's a, it, there's a tag there, but it's empty. So it's ready to be refilled. So what we could do is go to right again, jump onto here, uh, and then potentially we could do, uh, not all of these are gonna work perfectly well. Um, some of them depending on um, depending on the device you're on, might not work perfectly, but there's always a kind of backup for it. So um, you can usually, um, you can usually make it work more or less. So if we just try that one contact, uh, and then we write the contact onto there, take that off. And then we've just got John Smith as our contact. Okay, that's not worked because we've not removed the old tag. Sorry, just a second. <laughs> Let's, uh, we need to delete that tag. Um, and then write that. So the, there were two tags on there and it, it always uses the first tag. So um, it, it won't work like that. So if we just do that and then you can see, I can import a contact like that. So that's quite useful. You've got, um, you know, a way of putting people in like that and it's, it will just save that to your contacts. There's there's quite a lot of those on there. And basically um, all, we, all we'd seen there where we'd added a record, uh, like I say, if you were to add the URL again, um, we'll just put in like google.com. Uh, we just need to make sure that one of these is removed, otherwise it won't work. So we just remove our contact, you just click on it, delete, and then remember to write it every time. And then when we scan the card again, you can see it's just open in Google. Um, so yeah, that's that really is the kind of general overview of it. You know, you, you can go over and you can do it as many times as you want. And like I say, that there's a lot of different options that you've got in here. You know, you can do, um, you can do pins, you can do um, all kinds of different things. So it's um, it's a really useful kind of thing to have. For me personally, I'll just do it to the website and then, you know, at the top of my website, it's got my phone number, it's got my email, everything's there. If they want to send me a form, they can do that. It basically just puts it there. Otherwise, I will do it as, um, as a phone number um, and then, you know, you can add in all your contact details and bits like that and put your website in as well. So for me, one or the other is usually best. Like I say, usually I have a couple of, uh, a couple of different cards. And um, like I say, you can do the same with, um, with these stickers. So if you're at an event um, and you've already got some kind of card or something uh, in a lanyard, you could literally just stick one of these to the back of something and then what you can do you can see there there's there's nothing written to this at the moment so what we could do is just hit right on there hold that to the back and that's going to write the google.com url which is a bit useless but you know just for the demonstration and then you can see that's worked so it's super quick you know you can just you can program these things really fast they're reusable so um, yeah, I, I personally, I, I think they're really good actually, really um, uh, really good just to kind of uh, have as a, as a quick thing. And 
it saves me carrying around like a wedge of cards to certain things. So um, I've found them very useful. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you have, give the video a like. If you want to see more content like this, then uh, please subscribe.